Well, all the spaces have potential for something, but it's not recognized. And we saw that all, that all kinds of people coming out, they all had this, this kind of smile or inner joy in them. It's a playground, it's a machinery which is there for you to play. So I'm Christoph. Uh, my name is Nicola. So I am Sven Jonke. Together with Christoph and Nicola, the founder of Numen. Numen for Use. Numen for Use is a collective between Nicola, Christoph and me. And we are working in the field of installation art, scenography and industrial design. We are somehow very much individuals working together. We started this exploration in response to the collaboration shared between Porsche and Vitra. The only input was the Pepita pattern. The trick in the Pepita pattern is the third cube, the third square. You have the white and the black and you have one which is shared. With a very little twist, geometrical, you achieve a, a very dynamic structure. The line of flight is the moment of escape. The moment this stiff pattern of black and white escapes just through this additional one shared cue. This idea of sharing things is, the studio is about sharing. We met at the university when we started all industrial design. Moved over set design to site-specific uh, walk-in installations. For our installations, in the very beginning, it was important to work site-specific. But in this case, I would say it's the first time that the solid bearing structure is completely merged with our fluid netting landscape. The connection of the net to the metal structure will be done in the thousand-year-old hand technology of stitching fisherman nets. And this combination of low-tech and high-tech is something that, that brings, I think, a special feeling to the, to the, to the thing that is not an industrial product. It's, it's still uh, an art piece. Usually we, we like to, the, to have this parasite effect with not strict geometry, but in this case, since uh, working for, for Porsche, it had to be more industrial and more precise. We are Numen for use and we are making the net sculpture line of flight for the art of dreams. All our spaces are inhabitable. I would even call our spaces a little prolongation of furniture. This installation, for example, now in Milan is a social uh, sculpture. It's, it's a, like a, a huge hammock. They're like kind of flying, flying spaces, right? And we saw that in the minute you take the firm ground away and you bring people from different fields, from different ages, whatever, that they behave totally different in a, in a more free and uh, more, I say now, childish way. This space will, will immerse you, you will enter it, it will, it will force you to, to behave different. This, this feeling of, of freedom of your body really opens your, your perception. It's a playground, it's a machinery which is there for you to play and to, to do fantastic things. Things which are also not have to stand, they can fly. 